So first single off the second album, Hypnotize. During that time, is it true that Big was mad at you? He was upset with you for something? Like you left some pictures of him and some mm -hmm. other girls yeah. in a bag and then Charlie Baltimore found out and everything just erupted from there? How real is that story? <laughs> Super real. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we was a... Uh... The hotel we was in, I think we was at the, you know, we was at the Four Seasons at this one. Cause we went to like four different hotels. We was at the Four Seasons, and he kept telling me, I had my own room, of course, but I would always be in his room. He kept telling me to take this bag out the room for like two, three days. Yo, Charlie about to come in. Get that bag out of here. You know, stolen. All right, when I go downstairs, take it. You know, we go out, do shit. Bag still up there. Next day, same old shit. One day I was downstairs, and I don't. Uh, she must have got there. And I just remember D-Rock banging on my door like, yo, come on, I need you to come upstairs, help me pack his shit. I'm like, pack his shit for what? He's like, yo, we got to get out of here, dog. Shit went down upstairs. I'm like, what? He's like, yo, Charlie went in that bag. Her and Big got into it. She threw the nigga ring over the window. She was throwing juices at him. I come in the room as well, fucking cranberry juice, all type of shit on the walls. Damn. I'm like, he like, yo, your man had to rush out of here. I had to get him up out of here, though. He, he out here, no shoes on, no nothing, shirtless. I'm like, oh, God. What the fuck did I do? I'm like, all right, pack his shit up. Go to the hotel with him now. He's sitting up there barefoot, no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, nigga, didn't I tell you to take that bag out? I said, B.I., I know you told me that. I was like, yo, but why she went in my bag? He like, that ain't got, that ain't the point. She wouldn't have went in your bag if the bag wasn't in there. I told you for days to take that bag out of there, bro. He was like, yo, man, I'm sending you home. Fuck that. You got to go home for a little while. He was like, yo, get it, man. Give me my weed, too. Because, <laughs> 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 of course, I rolled all the weed. I got the bud. I'm like, uh. So I go downstairs. I got a room in there still, the new hotel. So Rock come with me. You know, He's like, yo, don't worry about it, little bro. You know you're just mad right now. He ain't going to see me. So he didn't send me home. So for like two days, he would roll up his own butt, sit in his own room. Or whenever we had to go somewhere, he just wouldn't say nothing to me. We got to go somewhere. I'm in the car with him. He just won't say shit to me. He'd hop out all quick and go sit over there. And um, that lasted for about, yeah, two or three days. Hypnotized video come up. Him and Puff do that whole car ride. Yep. You know, they're getting chased. That shit was for like two hours. So they went on a... You know, they taped that shit for like two hours straight. So we all just sat on set waiting for them to come back. When he came back, his shirt was wide open. He's walking with the cane. We're like, oh, shit. So he comes up to me, digs in his pocket. Love you, little nigga. Roll up. <laughs> like, oh, finally. You're not mad no more? But I, we, all was, we all was bugging because we're like, yo, why this nigga came back from that trip so happy? So we all like, yo, Puff, what you gave that nigga? Get that nigga pill or something? Why he, he come back, shirt wide open, he walking on his joint, he, he friends with it. Here, roll up, man. Roll up, little bro. I love you, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it was right back to, we was right back to regular program from there. Yo, I mean, but that's I had a to learn my story. lesson from that, you know, but I was wrong. Because I was like, mm -hmm. when I went to the room, I'm like, yo, why is she in my bag? He said, the bag shouldn't have been there. You're right. Especially when you told me to take the bag out three days ago. That was totally my fault. He lost ten. He lost a, a, a ten thousand dollar ring that Faith bought him from that. She threw it over the balcony, so I had to go look for that shit too down there. Then Did you find, find it? Hell no, I didn't find that shit. Oh man! man. So I was just like, that was like real hectic. And he liked it that Four Seasons Hotel, so he wanted to have to leave out of that hotel too. So that's how we was leaving all these different hotels. Shit was just going down. We had to. Everybody, I guess everybody was thinking we was leaving these hotels because. Of we was in LA and people was trying to track us down. No, I wasn't that type of shit. We were just like leaving hotels because situations was happening. We was making. What was shit the out. vibe like being out there for you? It was cool, man. It was cool. It wasn't, it, you know, it wasn't as bad as what people think it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was love. Like, you know, Big loved LA. A lot of people don't know that. I mean, I mean, they shouldn't know. He made a song about it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying he breaking LA down like he was from there. You know what I mean? Like, he loved just that environment, man. The clubs. He loved the palm trees. He loved the bud. He loved being there. Of course, we would have little situations here and there with somebody, not nothing crazy. You know, we'd be in the mall. Somebody might yell, West Side. We, you know, we walking down the strip somewhere. Somebody might bypass and, you know, 
food box, yell some stuff. But it wasn't nothing where we felt like we had to be, you know, we was in danger or we had to be on point. And we was like going out too. Like, you know, we was going to Billboard Live. You know, we was going to Bar 85. We was going to the clubs out there. People embracing us, showing love. It wasn't the whole city. I hate it big. We had a situation with a certain group of people. That don't mean the whole coast don't don't love you or don't deal mm -hmm. with you. We didn't feel that way. At least Big didn't, because at the at the end of the day, we was all there with him. If he say go, we going. If he stay, we staying. Big wanted to stay. I always tell people that yo, why everybody always go why why y'all was there so long or why you didn't tell him to go home? He's the boss. <laughs> We're here because of him. And if he feel like there's no threat and he wants to be here. It's our job to stand down with him. You know what I'm saying? And if he wanna stay, I'm staying. D Rock is staying. You know what I mean? He, he wanted to be there. He 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 loved LA. He loved the vibe. He he just loved he loved it out there. He loved to work out there. Like he he really enjoyed it out there. He wasn't thinking about leaving. We was there for two months before he passed out there. We was yeah, there a lot for of two people whole don't months. know that. Yeah, we was there for like damn near two months.